Welcome back to our afternoon session. And just in the beginning, what uh, we will talk this afternoon, I will start with a little bit uh, more general things about partners and partnership. And uh, then Pille and Tina uh, will go more concrete with this application uh, forms and, and uh, what to, how to fill what we would like to see in uh, work plan and, and how to form budget. We won't, they won't uh, go through uh, the application and application form, but, uh, uh, but anyway, more concrete things about uh, what should be filled in uh, in the application form. And we will uh, finish with uh, attachments, what are needed, and that kind of documents. We will have a coffee break at 3 o'clock, and then uh, plan to finish sometime a little bit before 5 or 5 o'clock. And now then, about partners and partnerships in uh, the projects of our program. Main thing, at least two partners from at least two countries uh, must be, must participate in the project. So it means that you don't need to cover all four uh, countries, uh, but at least two countries uh, need to be cooperate uh, And here uh, are the drawings, uh, maps of our uh, program areas. Uh, probably uh, know about it already. Just go quickly through. Uh, the program itself is divided into uh, sub-programs, and uh, it's according to these uh, participating countries. Then, so the Central Baltic uh, sub-program. Uh, under this will go project uh, where participating uh, all our countries, Latvia, Estonia, uh, Sweden, Finland, Holland. Um, Southern Finland and Estonia sub-program is there will be that kind of projects where partners are only from Estonia and Finland. Uh, the stock uh, blue is uh, core area and this uh, lighter blue is additional area means that uh, at least one of the project partners uh, need to be uh, from the core area and uh, then other, some other partners can be from the additional area uh, as well, which is a li little bit larger, but uh, the main activities, main uh, input of the project uh, should be targeted uh, in the uh, core area anyway. Uh, and third uh, sub-program, Archipelago and Islands sub-program, uh, there can be project uh, where uh, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, uh, islands and, and uh, the coastal areas are involved. Uh, not Latvia in that sub-program. So, and what about uh, partners then? As they are divided into, basically in two, project partner and lead partner. Uh, partners in our program, in our projects, uh, can be almost all kind of organizations, uh, only private persons are excluded, and uh, uh, one exclusion is that uh, uh, large companies uh, cannot participate as partners. Uh, and uh, we mean with these large companies, uh, uh, such companies who have 
more than 250 employees and annual turnover over 50 million euros. But basically all other organizations uh, can be uh, in our projects only including uh, uh, private companies, this mentioned here as SMEs, uh, only exclusion is in the lead partner role that uh, uh, SMEs, means private companies, can't be uh, lead partners, but uh, other, other organizations can act as a lead partner as well as, as with partners. Uh, what is connected with uh, private companies, uh, there is uh, one important issue as uh, the uh, finances, uh, what we deliver are public finances, uh, so it means that also private companies who are uh, participating, uh, they need to uh, go through uh, public uh, rules, for example, public uh, procurement uh, pro uh, procedures, uh, etc. So it's, it's not so simple as uh, in average business if private companies are working together that uh, they, they buy from each other in our program. Uh, they must uh, uh, follow uh, public rules. So who are uh, good partners, what makes partnership good and strong uh, uh, for our program and for, for the projects. First thing, actually it was told by Ulari as, as well, these this, uh, nice words, but uh, partner must be relevant and uh, as, as all other, other issues in our program that relevance is, is very important. Uh, what, who is a relevant partner? Uh, partner who has experiences, has expertise in that field where the project uh, will develop. Uh, we have seen uh, from the first call that uh, better partnerships, better project applications uh, come from these corporations where partners are exactly working in the same field, everyday activities connected uh, with uh, activity what the project uh, will be and uh, there is very well you can see the focus, they're focusing on uh, on the real need, the activities, they uh, know what they uh, need to do, uh, they know how they do, what's the situation in the market right now, what they want to improve. So these are the uh, main uh, topics, main keywords uh, uh, for thinking about the partners as well as in general. Uh, planning your project. Ulari also told about sustainability. Here is the same uh, thing we uh, need to have. We want to see project would have um, sustainability in the future. So it means from partners uh, that uh, these partners will continue the same work the same activity after the project is concluded and uh, the results, what, what are planned to achieve with the project will be used by these partners uh, later on. So this, this would be a most valuable uh, project ideas and this would be valuable use uh, for this uh, money what is put into these support programs and support projects. Very important, of course, that 
each partner has a real role in the project. Um, sometimes it may be in this way that uh, somebody has a good idea in one side of the sea, uh, he wants to do something, and uh, they, they think that, that, that our program is a very good place for that to applying for support, but, but we need this, we, are, we, uh, we want to have this uh, uh, cross-border cooperation and partner from the other side of the sea or of the border. And uh, th then, you, then we can see some kind of so called artif artificial partnerships or something like that, that where uh, one project partner has very, very good idea and, and uh, other has said in some phone call maybe that, okay, I can participate. Um, it could be uh, possible to, to develop such kind of partnerships and projects, uh, but it probably needs to uh, do some more, more work uh, and, um, and, and really find out the need for this partnering uh, organization as well. And I repeat, the, the better projects, better ideas of these work uh, different partners have been cooperating uh, beforehand already, and, and they need uh, they needs and and that these needs are really really similar, and then they want to make some joint uh, joint cooperation, joint project. Partnership should be balanced. No, it's about the same that every partner would have the role uh, in the project. Uh, it means in planning, in implementing, uh, in some uh, way in, in uh, budget as well. It uh, don't need to be equal, of course, uh, but at least uh, that we would see that activities are about the similar or uh, similar importance with, with between different partners. Of course, budget can't be uh, equal anyway because costs are different. Uh, but at least uh, it matches with with activities what what is planned and uh, how many partners there are at least two as as it was said um, and not many because many uh, partners it means very difficult management of the project. So, and we have defined that uh, if the partnership uh, is more than 10 partners, then it's already such kind of uh, alarming for us and, and we would like to uh, get some more information and uh, justification for that, why project needs so many partners. Uh, just the practical reason, uh, the management and, and uh, reporting uh, will be quite complicated if you have uh, many partners. So from the first call, there are some very good uh, project ideas uh, with two partners, uh, similar organizations working or in Estonia, uh, Finland, Latvia, Estonia, uh, working on the same, same theme, same topic every day. They really know they need what they want to do, it can be done in cooperation, the uh, results can be transferred and, and really very focused and very, very concrete and good ideas. And yes, maybe the most important point for the partnership that uh, for achieving the results and, uh, and the partners should have this needed capacity to, to run the project. Capacity from uh, uh, different point of views, from financial point of view, from uh, human point of view, uh, uh, that uh, uh, partners have people who can, can do the uh, thing uh, and, and some, some re uh, financial resources as well, of course.
So in, now we are moving a little bit towards this uh, application form already. Um, the EMS system, uh, there is, uh, you need to describe their, uh, uh, the partners uh, and uh, describe separately lead partner, uh, project partners, and actually I didn't uh, mention uh, we have possibility of uh, um, associated partners as well. Uh, associate partner uh, would be partner who uh, won't uh, get financial support us uh, and uh, if this partner has some uh, uh, financial obligations, then uh, he needs to uh, cover them uh, by, the, by him or herself, by this organization. Uh, it might be that the associate partner comes from outside of uh, program area. There are possibilities that, that some project idea, some partners know that somewhere, let's say in, in Russia or in, or in Denmark, is uh, uh, somebody with very good uh, experience in the field and then they would somehow to uh, participate uh, then that kind of uh, possibility to have additional uh, associated partner. But in same time there is a, uh, one thing, uh, if, uh, if you know that uh, some partner has some expertise and, uh, and you want to bring in that expertise, uh, then in maybe it is not even needed to involve this organization as partner, uh, uh, but uh, you just buy in service. Uh, the th point here is that uh, between project partners, including associated partner, you can't buy services in the project. So, uh, if you know organizations who have very good exper expertise in some field, uh, who could deliver some services for the project, uh, rather don't include them as partners, but you will buy this service later on. Of course, there is a uh, point of uh, public procurement, so if you, if you need to do public procurement procedure, and then everybody is uh, uh, free to participate, and then it's already a question of uh, offers and, and uh, expenses and so on, who will uh, win, but, but anyway, you need to consider that, that between partners you can't buy services. So coming back to this uh, application form, uh, when you're describing uh, uh, these partners and partners' roles, uh, please uh, explain there, uh, even, even if it's not uh, uh, written, especially in, uh, for regular projects in the uh, first, uh, first step, there is a, a partner role, but uh, uh, benefit from the project will come in second step. Please write in this partner role already uh, the what kind of results, benefits uh, uh, the partner will get uh, uh, from the project. Uh, what we have seen in the first uh, call that it's quite big box, a uh, lot of information about describing uh, whatever experiences the, uh, the organization uh, has. Uh, very, very, very uh, general things, but uh, not so much understanding what he will do in, in that project, what uh, you are applying for. And so it's, it's uh, uh, difficult to evaluate it, one thing, but uh, maybe in some cases we, we just evaluate it wrongly, so we just can't uh, get a uh, uh, point there why the uh, partner is included, and we maybe uh, uh, give a lower value uh, for this assessment criteria.
And uh, for the lead partners, uh, you must uh, always rem remember that the lead partner uh, is responsible uh, for the project. Uh, uh, lead partner uh, fills in the application. Uh, of course, input uh, should come from uh, uh, from partners as well, and, and uh, uh, they of course uh, would know uh, what what role each partner has, and so on. Uh, but uh, uh, but main responsibilities on lead partner reporting as well. Each partner will uh, deliver their own part of the report, uh, but uh, in the end, a lead partner will put it all together and and. Uh, presents it to the program. Uh, I guess it's all about the partners right now. I give floor to over the pillar, who now work, will talk about forming the work plan.